First things first, I told you guys I'm leaving uh, very early tomorrow morning and I probably won't be sleeping the whole flight. So we're going to go ahead and crack this monster right now and we're greeted, says welcome. Thank you for downloading the beta version. Please enjoy the world of Gran Turismo Sport. Daily workout, complete your daily objectives. You'll receive a gift card when you complete the driving marathon. 26.2 miles. That's actually kind of cool that they gave you a daily challenge in that sense. And obviously that's daily, so you got to do that on that day. Uh, your first car as a reward of playing the beta version, we will give you your first car as a gift. Oh my god, thank you, man. Uh, cars acquired in the beta version can also be used in the retail version of the game. Let's go ahead and see what... Oh, shit. My first car, man. Thank you. Mm. Green monster. Green monster, man. Let me know your favorite monster down below. Leave it down there. Mine's got to be the green, man. It's the Assassin's Creed origins edition as well too which is pretty dead cool this car looks phenomenal man the gameplay the graphics uh look very very good and i will say uh gran turismo is swinging this year man they're gonna have a lot of competition i'm very excited to see this here we have the hyundai genesis grb rally car and that looks fire man look at the kit on that oh my god reed you better be getting this on your damn car. Man. First menus of GT Sport. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, I haven't really looked into this game a lot. Um, whoa, same as Forza. I wanted to see if this was going to work. If we were just going to rotate camera angles. This is a very impressive showcase here from Gran Turismo Sport. Uh, you know, I mean, as a Gran Turismo fan, I started on PlayStation. You know, that was my home for a long time, man. All the way up PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3. Um, I then sold everything, got an Xbox 360. But for those years growing up, Gran Turismo was very, very close, and I have completed many laps on this game, and I've completed many, many races. It's a very interesting style that they've done where it's just, it's almost like a slideshow of, you know, photos, you know, kind of Timbits and stuff like that. I really enjoy it, and it kind of gives the game life, you know, it gives that kind of extra kind of personality uh, that I love in a game, right? I mean, it's not just a menu, you rotate your cameras and that's it. Gran Turismo has always had that it's kind of had that craftsmanship to really make Gran Turismo stand out from the pack. And I do believe they're going to be doing that once again this year. And I mean, to be completely honest with you, Gran Turismo, it can't be touched. It's never been able to be touched with the car list, you know, with, you know, the feel of the game, you know, bringing real world drivers into the situations and actually becoming champions. They have done a lot. And I'm very excited to see how this one's going to go because obviously this isn't like the rest of them. We're not going to have that massive car list like we've had. Um, but I would love to know down below offhand how many cars is GT Sport going to have? I don't know offhand. I don't got the numbers, man. I got a flight in like six hours I got to get to. So I'm trying to bang this video out for you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and see what the hell we're doing for today. We have campaign, we have home, livery editor, my library. Wait, livery editor? We've never had a livery editor before. Holy shit, we can now put liveries on the car. You could do your helmet and your suit. No way. Okay, obviously you guys can tell my voice is shot. Got married on Saturday. Um, very, very happy. It was an awesome day. Went perfect. But obviously my voice is getting wrecked. And, uh, well, it's just beginning because, well, uh, like I said, I'm going for a full week, man. All inclusive. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going with another couple that just got recently married. So we're going to have a great time down there. I'm very excited. But uh, I, was, I was pretty excited to be playing this, though, as well. You know, I had to get this in before we left. Brand Central, let's see where we're going here. So, this is going to be the car list. Buy cars, buy concept cars, brand museum. Oh, shit, that's actually kind of cool. Watch movies related to the brand. Take some photos. See, Gran Turismo, man, they just have that feel. Like, I don't know how to explain it. If you can explain Gran Turismo and the passion that they put into their games in one comment... Leave that down below. I'd love to read those. Ooh, the car models, they look fantastic, man. Oh my god. Such a beautiful game. I, I'm so excited for this. You know, we have been waiting, like I said, such a long time for this game. And the fact now that we have, have it and it's so close to launch, uh, you know, I get hyped as the days go on. And obviously, now that I'm playing this, I will be looking a lot more into this. If you guys want to leave me any information about this game, leave it down below for me to kind of read up on and stuff like that. But um, I'm going to be definitely doing a full let's play on this game, you know, online. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you guys don't know, we're going to have the wheel cam out. Um, and we're going to be doing some serious racing on the channel, man. A little bit of drifting. Um, I'm, I'm pretty excited for Gran Turismo this year. I definitely think it's going to elevate the channel. It's going to elevate my driving experience. And I'm really excited to be doing some online lobbies with you guys. And really putting in some serious hours 
on this game and I know I've said this many times but um, you know I really would love to just dive into Gran Turismo Sport more and you know get more involved within the community and just see everybody behind it we have done that before but I've yet to really stay on top of it and continuously post content however this game with the new wheels that are coming out for this game um, you know there, there's gonna be so much to do and I am so very excited to be diving into this in about less than two weeks man less than two weeks we're getting the full version of this game and I oh my god I'm hyped you guys already know this let me know if you're picking it up down below and uh, maybe we can get a nice lobby going 2014 BMW M4 we gotta go with the Yas Marina blue and I like that they even show you what the color is obviously they've done that many times and I'm just pointing out the details that they go above and beyond to just let you know that your car is that special right I mean you're driving a BMW M4 coupe Yas Marina blue it's a beast man we're gonna go manual transmission of course now for the controller that we are driving with today it's going to be the Razor Raju I don't know if I did pronounce that properly but it is more or less a competition esports style controller I got this way back Codemaster sent it to me I finally have a reason to use this thing man so I'm pretty excited for this today let me know if you're running any special controllers on the game how are you liking on a controller and let me know how the wheel feels on this game we're gonna go ahead load up here and we're gonna see exactly how long this loading screen is I'm gonna go ahead and take a sip of this monster mm. let me know what you guys are sipping on down below 458 is in the lobby we got an MP 412-C look at this that's a sick ass loading screen man okay you can see it kind of wrapping around 35, 40, 45, 50. I wish I can rev it, man. If I can just rev a car in the loading menus, I mean, I would be content. I don't know about you, but I would definitely be content just revving the shit out of it in there. We're definitely going to go on expert auto drive. That's going to be taken off, man. We don't need that shit. First drive, a Gran Turismo Sport. Oh, my God, man. This is going to be a lot of fun for today. Now, remember, we do have traction control complete. Yep, I told you. Holy shit. Okay, that was a snap. Alright, Gran Turismo Sport, first impressions right now, everything's looking good, I got a lot on the HUD, you guys can see pretty much everything on the right, there's the map, we got the map on the right and top right, holy shit, okay. Alright, just make sure my gear up, gear down, I'm really enjoying the controls, you gotta be super smooth though, man. Oh my god, okay, let's see if we can just whip this here, let's see what happens. Oh my god. Oh! How are we gonna hold that? Reverse entry. Just trying to get the feel for the game, man. That's all we're doing right now. I'm really the damn gears are screwing me up though. We got music playing in the background, which I did not want to have happen, but uh, we can't really change that right now though, so that's kind of the only problem. C7 cut me off. Let's go through the camera angles. Cockpit looks clean. Look around. Oh, yeah, we can. Downshift. Oh, my God. This game is playing so nice on the controller, though. It just, you know, everything is just minimal inputs. You know, if you're really... Oh, shit. Okay. I heard a beep. Did not sound good. Let's go ahead and just try to throw this in a little bit harder. Oh, Tommy just heard that thing red bang. That sounded so nice. Oh, my God. Man. Oh, God damn. You can look everywhere. Look at that. That is clean. Now, there is going to be VR support for this, so I do have the PlayStation VR, as you guys know. Definitely be doing some episodes with that. But there is just so much that I'm looking forward to this year. Handbrake! No. That worked. Kind of, right? No. All right, we're going to get a retry here. Set this on the move cam. Let's actually try to get into first place here on this lap. I don't know if this music is too loud or not. I'm just really excited to play this on a wheel though and just really try to dial in these cars. Always enjoyed the drifting, you know, even the drifting community on this game is just huge. And I know it's going to be huge on this one because we've been waiting a long time. I don't know if we're going to have the same kind of, you know, user created lobbies and such. But if we do, it's going to be a good damn year. I'll tell you that right now. And I'm still going down for up and up for down. Just got to remember. Oh, damn. A little sideways there. Just keep the throttle down, shift up. I'm trying to just slide this out. Oh! 
we died on that one. Uh, I do want to take a closer look here at the actual third person camera just to see how it feels compared to the previous titles. That's really been my only problem with Gran Turismo is the fact that the camera is only up a little bit weird on the third person. I do like playing third person. I know sometimes it will be like, Slab, why the hell are you playing with a wheel and in third person? It's just something that I've always done growing up. And I feel like I have a better kind of, you know, sight when I am on the third person camera. But um, I am actually enjoying this this year, though. Oh, yeah. There we go. Just got to make sure you do not let off because it will snap back, man. Just don't lift coming through this. Cars sound really good. It's been one of their biggest problems, though, is just the cars sound like vacuum cleaners. I mean, like I said, if you guys have any insight to this game in terms of, you know, what they've done to fix everything, let me know down below. God damn, that Jag looks nice. Take care, sir. M4 is holding ass, though. Oh, I did it again, man. There is a drift trial that we can do, and I'm thinking about taking out that beautiful Genesis up on the top right here and seeing how we do. I like the fact that we can actually choose the time of day here. Which is kind of cool. We're going to go sunrise. I want it to be nice and sunny for this. And I'm hoping to take out that Genesis that we do have. Garage car is perfect. Boom. There she is. Manual transmission. Let's go, man. This thing actually looks really nice. We got a little cockpit view on here. Uh, with the actual kind of cinematic experience on the right hand side. Really enjoying this game. I think, you know, a lot of fans of Gran Turismo. We've waited a while, like I've said. And I think it's definitely going to be well worth the wait. As it's always been, right? I mean, it definitely has been. Um, but... Here we go. 8 a.m. Rise and shine here. Colorado Springs. All right, here we go. This man is not shifting. You're gonna blow my engine, man. Thank you. Auto drive. He's just not even shifting. Here we go. Just the top. Oh my god, that was way, way damn more than the top. No idea where this is gonna be going. Oh, handbrake. I still cut the points. Oh my god, I cannot believe that. All right. Oh, there we go. I have not drifted in a long time on a controller on GT6. Now, if you guys can let me know, how does it feel to you in the comment section down below? Specifically, Dubs, I know you're watching this, my man. Well, hopefully you are. Um, if you are, let me know how it feels to you. Because obviously, you know, you're a pretty damn badass point drifter. I will admit. I've seen, that, I've seen you clear the top hundreds. If you guys don't know Dubs, check him out. Description box down below. Uh, we did finish off with a 10,000. 310. I mean, it's not bad at all. New record. What? No, no, no. Why am I doing it again? I just... Oh, I guess I guess we just doing it again. Let's see if we do a little bit better here. Oh, that was clean. Nice and short in. Yep, yep. Come on. I'll cut this nice and hard. Oh, my God. This is a beast. I can't wait to watch this in a new place. Not think I was gonna be extending that whole thing. Come on, baby. Oh no, no, no. We're still getting points even on that grass. That's actually really interesting. Score was twelve thousand five hundred and six. Again, I want to watch that replay because we killed that. So we got prize money, mileage points, distance, and experience. Okay. Big thank you. Okay, a little bit of distance, experience. So it actually shows you on the top right. That is really cool. You have your own odometer for your entire garage. Uh, that's that's pretty damn cool. We get to level up as well too.